A judge in Utah has ordered polygamous cult leader Seth Jeffs to appear in court next month to answer allegations that he's a deadbeat dad. Investigative reporter A.J. Legault says it's the latest legal complication for a man who may be trying to build a religious compound here in Minnesota. Hello, Seth. Hey, got some documents for you. Back in January, we showed you how Seth Jeffs right, was you. served here in Minnesota with a civil lawsuit from Utah. It's on behalf of a woman who says she was sexually assaulted for years, beginning when she was just eight years old. The lawsuit claims Seth Jeffs is one of the FLDS church leaders who witnessed and helped arrange the religious sexual rituals with underage girls. After the official legal papers were served, Carol Levin tried to contact Seth Jeffs. Mr. Jeffs, AJ Legault, I'm with Carol Levin News. We'd like to talk with you. But he refused to come to the door. Now he's facing more legal problems. And he's also a deadbeat dad. Sam Brower is a private investigator who's been tracking members of the polygamous sect for years. He's the investigator who launched a drone last month and took these aerial photos capturing construction equipment on a remote 40 acre property west of Grand Marais in northern Minnesota. The photos prompted local officials to issue this cease and desist order to halt construction, at least temporarily. But Brower also had another goal. So my hope is that I can find him and, and uh, serve papers on him. These are the papers accusing Seth Jeffs of failing to pay child support to one of his many wives. Days later, Brower did find him serving official notice of a child support court hearing back in Utah. We wouldn't be able to tell if anything is going on there like you said. Concerned North Shore residents who turned out last month for a community meeting hope the additional legal fights may stop Jeffs from building a secretive new religious compound like the one he once headed in South Dakota. For Carol Levin Investigates, I'm AJ Legault.